Okay, it's Monday the 23rd of October 2017, back in Golders Green. Haven't been back here because I used to like, live nearby. Um, so I'm gonna go visit the grave of Mark Bolan. Now, in previous videos I've shown you this Mark Bolan memorial stone. Well, he's not buried behind that stone. That's basically, they put that there because the fans of Mark Bolan would steal uh, he, his and his parents the, like memorial sign at his grave where his ashes are buried so they had to put that there but I've honest to god I, I've never been to Mark Bolton's actual grave so I'm going to go there like today it was his 40th anniversary of death last month and it would have been his 70th birthday like last month and all so it's a big huge hype about T-Rex uh, recently Kind of like a bit of a revival. I mean, you got to remember, without like D Rex, you wouldn't have David Bowie. Without David Bowie, you, know, you wouldn't have glam metal. I mean, even the Scorpions, they, they covered Children of the Revolution back in 2011's like Come Black album. You know, where they they recorded some old songs and then some like new songs like Tainted Love, uh, Children of the Revolution. And um, oh. yeah, and the Beatles and stuff. So this is the Mark Bolan Memorial Park. They installed this in 1994, so fans wouldn't stop stealing Mark Bolan's ashes, uh, 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 grave. And then this was inserted 25 years after Mark Bolan died. Um, funny thing was, they're gonna supposed to put a bust of Mark Bolan here. But um, some guy on YouTube told me the plan fell through, and they ended up putting the bust um, where he was, where he died in Putney. I mean, Keith Moon's here, but um, uh, Keith Moon's actually ashes are scattered in the not in one of his gardens, but like in the big area. Oh, awesome! Looks like the goldfish pond has got more fish, or the goldfish have been breeding. Because to be honest, goldfish breed well in ponds like these. So, I'm now at the grave of Simon and Phileas Feld. Uh, they died both within a few months of each other in 1991. And this is where their son Mark lives. Mark Bolan, the great rock star. Now, when you come into Golders Green, you got to walk up that path, past the big statue, and then uh, this is the monument you've got to be looking for, and Mark is just right down there. Some people have left some bit of glitter, there's a little bit of a swan there. But you won't get lost unless you find this. This is a big uh, T-Rex bench with uh, the white swan. You know, like, so I'm riding on a white swan. Those big of a hit in the 1970s. And then it says Mark Field, born to Boogie, September 30th, 1947. Mark Bolan, always in a heart, September 16, 1977. So, <clears throat> so this was installed, I think, around 2012, recently. Yeah. So, I mean, it seems like Golders Green Crematorium can't get enough of Mark Bolan's fans. What a lovely autumn day to be walking in Golders Green. And the council is having cleared the leaves of yesterday. <laughs> I just remember taking my nephews out in Western Sydney during autumn. The leaves are falling with smell all these fun time kicking leaves and throwing these spooky ball things that fall out of trees in Australia. <laughs>